right back. This week on Moment with Louis, we got TK, <coughs> so make sure you tap in. Sure. So, do you prefer being called TK or BHTK? Um, TK is cool for sure, like you know, on paper and everything like that. I'm definitely like BHTK. Yeah. That's right. That's that's right. Like, I feel like that's what I'd rather go by, to be honest. Okay. But just TK for sure, so you're not just saying four letters out loud. You know yeah. What I mean? So, what's uh, TK mean? Like, that's abbreviation for your real name, right? Like, or, okay, so I got that name from one of the homies in, like, in high school. I was actually, uh, <clears throat> when I first started, like, really getting to the, to the rap stuff and everything, uh, I was actually going to go by uh, T. Irie. Cause, T. Irie. Yeah, because a lot of people call my dad T. Irie. Oh, so okay. I was, you know, I was be fucking with my pops. So I wanted to actually be called T. Irie. I was going to do a little T. Irie, but I feel like there's a lot of littles and shit like yeah. that. You know, you know, I ain't trying to be no little nigga. So I was just, you feel me, I, I was going to do T. Irie. But uh, the homie had called me TK for you know, some most, multiple reasons, to be honest. It stands for a lot of things. But the homie had started calling me that, and then everybody around school, like, the, that, that's my what close friends, not like, like yeah, that, you know what yeah, I mean? Growing up, yeah. Exactly, like, you know what I mean? Most people just start calling me that. But, like, uh, before I took the rap, like, like hella serious, at first, like, I'm, you know, I'm introducing people as, like, my regular name. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then now I feel like... Uh, I am going to take rap serious and everything like that. And also, people just call me that, like, not even knowing I'm rapping. They they call me that because they hear other people call me that. Facts. You know? So, um, and then BH is for Brotherhood. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And then, so is Brotherhood more of a music group or is that, like, group, like I know, um, like, y'all grew up, you know? Yeah. So that's, like, a, it's damn near. I'd be, in my head, I'd be, like, saying that's just damn near everything. But uh, when I, so I'm actually the one that uh, made it. Uh, when I made it, it was more so to be, like, just just the homies, like, not even, it wasn't even supposed to be, like, what it is now, or yeah. all of us just, you know what I mean, it was really supposed to be, like, damn, like, when I get married, I'm about to have, like, fucking 15, uh, uh, fucking people right next to me, you know what I mean, 15 best men and shit like that, like, that's the type, like, we was, we was looking at it more of a, like, we just stay connected, like, we more of a family, that's how we treated more of a family, but, uh, you know, me with the rap stuff, and then I put, I, you know what I mean, it, it blasts it, all, like, all my friends rapping, like, my yeah. dub rapping, ZF be rapping, uh, twin devs be rapping and stuff like that. That like, and we putting on for ourselves so people take it a certain way. But also, everybody has their own. We their just own did that dub ten interview. Make sure you tap ten, definitely. tap in. You did, yeah. um, but definitely, bro. Uh, <clears throat> so, who do you think influences your style the most? Uh, like rapping wise, yeah. Um, because I got a couple of people who I think you know what I mean. Like that, here, like, like, like Joey Badass for sure. You know what I mean? Okay. Like. Uh, like you know, Cole the friend. Yeah, yeah. Like I literally just got put on him. Like, yeah, like last year, bro. So like I could definitely see that. Like uh, definitely, bro. <laughs> yeah. So Joy Badass. I did like I listen to him a lot for sure. Uh, I listen to a lot of uh, old school music. Okay. Like a lot of old school music, whether it's like old rap or just like just you know what I mean. Just we're hearing the slides exactly, came in. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean. That's I'm like very family orientated. So a lot of my family like introduced me to that, and uh, so I was fucking with a lot of them. Like Biggie, I really fuck with Biggie. Okay. I fuck with Nas. You know what I mean. Uh, then Cole, fuck with Drake for sure. You know what I mean. Rex Life Ross. It's a lot of people. I just listen yeah. to a lot of stuff, and then I get inspiration off a lot of things. And some of the songs I kind of <laughs> see that I am Sue type. You know what I mean. Like uh, definitely gonna bring a West Coast. Yeah, like definitely. It's definitely but I love like, that old New York. Type oh thing, yeah, that you know what East I mean? Coast type feel Bo- where it's Bo- like bad beats where you have yeah. to really listen to my lyrics. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to be a lyricist. That's why I see myself as. You know? Facts. I feel. I feel like you're more of like um like an artist than a rapper. You know what I mean? Because I feel like like just hearing it. Like the VA Oz bar, you know what I mean? Like, don't gamble with me. I'm not VA Oz, you feel <laughs> yeah. me? Like, all that, um, it goes into it, you know? Yeah. And then everything's purposeful. Like, especially if you live in the city, you're like, you know exactly what mm-hmm. you're talking about. And it feels more connected, at least, you know what I mean? For That's, me to listen I to. Want, I want it to be more uh, organic with everything I do, whether it's the videos or me making the song. I actually want people to relate and give off inspiration or endurance, you know what I mean? Facts. Because you can listen to the whole thing and it flows. Like, I, I enjoy that. Um, so how long does it take you to make your album? <clears throat> because last year you made the, um, the album and then the EP. Mm-hmm. Uh, it depends. Like, sometimes I just be like, you know, I'm about to just be in album mode or I'm about to just make a damn, yeah. well, first of all, I don't even really call them <clears throat> albums. Those was like, I never really made, I never made an album. I call those like, uh, projects, but it makes it just like mixtapes and stuff. But all those projects is just like, uh, a lot of times it's me just locking in, getting into a zone for like, three to four months and I'm just 
making slaps and then I put some of my favorite ones together. Also, it's usually uh, when I'm going through certain things in life, you know what I mean? Like a lot of uh, like bumps in the road just bring out those hits, bring out a lot for me to rap about, a lot for me to really just get locked in the, in the studio, you know what I mean, and do what I have to do. But it just, it varies really. Yeah, it's real personal. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about healing process and like kind of where you slipped up and where you've grown through mm -hmm. that. You know, and then um, I feel like that's good because it shows a different perspective. Because most of the time when we listen to the rap, it's um, like the typical rap. Yeah. You know, and then it's not really like. Yeah, I'm trying to be uh, more into it. Like know? me, if yeah. that makes sense. Facts. Um, so why did you choose the name Life in Color as the title? Um, so. I actually seen uh, some, some. I actually heard somebody say something to me like last year uh they actually told me like live in color but uh to me i thought about it like life in color would be dope because uh it's me really showing uh emotion like really showing those emotions different ways like each song is like a different type of you could flow through it but each song yeah. is like a different one one like a uh, expensive fabric can be really heavy like really like you're just in a zone like you know what i mean it gives yeah. you in, like it gets good it gets you in the zone then it could be a different song that gives you inspiration like you know get through what you're going through and make sure that you really don't look back type shit you know uh so i just wanted to it to be like a a colorful album because <clears throat> you can use color as emotion like red can be like you're mad or like you know what i mean and like certain yeah. thing blue is like like the blues are sad and shit like that so i actually wanted it to be that way so life and color i was actually showing off different vibes different feel like when he said um in a mature way yeah, and uh, kind of like talking shit, but it's like it flows. Like, um, I'm not going to judge a fish on how well it can swim. Like, you know I'm not going mean? to give you props I can't, for that. I cannot praise yeah. a fish for swimming. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, like walking. Yeah. Like, if, you, if you're able to walk and you're walking, it's like, exactly. okay. It's, it's exactly. second nature. But, yeah, definitely, like, de you know what I mean? Like, it flows onto and it builds onto it, the whole song. Like, um, So, I see you're pushing clothing for uh, Border Town, um, the song you did. Are you gonna start pushing more um, clothing or? Uh, so the border town one uh, was actually <clears throat> my boy. I need one of those shirts for sure. <laughs> my boy Franco, yeah, that's hard. So my boy Franco, he uh, we actually did a track together. So it was like you know our part of town, his okay. part of town coming together. So that's how that happened. But he actually made the shirts. I mean. He just gave me one. He only made like five shirts, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. shit. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't like, you know. I was even telling him like he should because a lot of people wanted those. Okay. But uh, I actually be pushing like uh, uh, two type of like brands. It's uh, Of Course and okay. another one called Good Trauma. Good Trauma is one of my, my boy Be Nice. He's actually doing a lot of film stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Trying to be on his like, like, like his real like making movie shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But good, you know, Good Trauma is his, that's his name. And then my other boy, uh eric he's making of course shout out to him he's making of course and that's his his brand i've kind of pushed those i try to walk in those and then yeah. shout out everybody else that i walk in really walk try to walk in all the the dago clothing you know yeah shout out of course and uh who else did you say good trauma good trauma yeah, nice. i'm definitely going to have to tap in myself um and if you could tell people something about yourself that they don't already know about you what would you tell them i don't know what is it like a, a fun fact yeah like something like that <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Um Like some of you Okay, uh something that I, I'm I'm proud of this but I never said it. Um Oh no nigga. Like what you proud of yourself? You said you're proud uh, of uh, being a pescatarian. I'm pescatarian, pes okay. Pes so it's a whole lifetime. For, exactly. Okay. I've been pescatarian for four years. Right. Didn't tell nobody I was finna just do it or this and that. I just did it. You feel me? I feel better like Physically and mentally, I feel better, you know what I mean? Cutting out a lot of stuff and showing self-control, like saying something and then actually doing it. Okay. That's dope. Sure. Definitely that lifestyle change, everything. Make sure you tap exactly. in. That's been a moment. Louis, tap in means to get all people network. You did.